So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 17th and 18th of October 2022. And I believe Nabad ke jo exam hai, the upcoming, for the upcoming Nabad grade examination, this much uh, up to today's class is enough. Uh, from now onwards, you can uh, leave the PIB uh, content for ESI current, right? One uh, class chalo aur le lena, jis mein 19th or 20th ka bhi cover ho jayega. So 20th tak ka I would suggest you to uh, cover because you never know ki kahan se question aa jaye, right? So up to 20th of October you have to cover BIB news. So one more class uh, will be there. In that class I will be covering the news from 19th and 20th October. Or wahan tak ke liye nabad grade a phase two examination ka kafi rahega. But even after that, the classes will be continuing. Classes khatam nahi ho rahi hai, right? Classes may end nahi lag raha hai because of course, now um, RBI grade B 2023, I am focusing on that examination and you guys should also focus on that exam, right? And these days I can say that uh, so many of you are not watching the videos. I don't know the reason, but yes, the reason might be that you guys are waiting for the notification of RBI 2023. But that should not be the idea, guys. Jab notification aa jayega, uske baad, you guys used to ask me, will definitely ask me, ki kya ab mein itne time mein cover kar sakta hoon? So in that case, the answer will be no. Thikhe? Because this is the right time to start prepare for the upcoming uh, RBI grade B 2023, right? So, kick start your preparation now. Why you are waiting for the notification when you know the notification will definitely come, okay? So let's start with today's session guys, but before we begin, as usually, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description, right? Let's talk about the very first question and I think one question is already leaked. A question aapke Nabad grade phase 2 ka leak ho chuka hai. One question will definitely come from Global Hunger Index. There is no doubt about it. Theek hai, agar abhi tak paper nahi bana hai, theek hai? So definitely there will be a question on Global Hunger Index 2022. So you have to consider the following statements about Global Hunger Index and you have to identify the correct statement. So first of all, we'll talk about what are the important facts from the index and then we'll talk about what is the government of India's stand on this index. Because India has a poor ranking, so the government of India has told stand that okay, these are the loopholes of this index and that is why we, we, we do not see ourselves as at this position. Okay? So let's talk about the index first, then we'll come to the uh, government stand. So Global Hunger Index has been released and it has been released by Concern Worldwide and World Hunger Hill. Okay? In two organizations have launched it and launch And this index, as the name suggests, this index measures the levels of hunger across the world. What is the hunger in the whole world? It measures it. This time, the level of hunger has been measured in 121 countries. Okay, how many countries ka? 121 countries ka isme measure hua hai. And this chart shows the severity of hunger scale. Like if any country has score below or equal to 9.9, .9, then there is low level of hunger in that country. If the score is between 10 and 19.9, .9, the level of hunger is moderate, right? Serious level of hunger, the score will be 20 to 34.9 and India has serious level of hunger because India's score is 29.1. Alarming situation hogi when the country will have the score of 35 to 49.9 and extremely alarming hogi when the GHI score will be greater than equal to 50. Alright, so this, these are the severity of hunger scale. Now, scores ke agar hum baat karein, to the scores of countries vary from 0 to 100 where 0 denotes the best score while 100 denotes the worst score which means if any country has 0 uh, score in the global hunger index then that country has no hunger matlab kisi bhi tarike ka wahan pe hunger se related problem nahi hai and if any country has the 100 score theek hai 100 agar score hoga to that means that is the worst country the index is based on these four indicators which are under nourishment child stunting child wasting and child Mortality. These are very very important. ठीक है. Generally indicators का numbers बहुत सारे होते हैं. So in that case indicators important नहीं होते हैं. But this time there are only four indicators and that is why all the four indicators you have to remember. Okay. Now talking about the rankings. So there are not 
टॉप वन टॉप टू और टॉप थ्री कंट्रीज सेवनटीन कंट्रीज ठीक है सेवनटीन कंट्रीज हैव बीन कलेक्टिवली रैंक वन टू सेवनटीन और सबका स्कोर उन्होंने यही रखा है कि सबका स्कोर लेस देन फाइव पॉइंट फाइव है ठीक है वन टू सेवनटीन के लिए सबका लिए जो स्कोर बताया है दैट इज लेस देन फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एंड दे ऑल हैव बीन रैंक कलेक्टिवली एट वन टू सेवनटीन रैंक ठीक है एंड दिस इंप्लाइज दैट दीज कंट्रीज हैव वेरी लो लेवल ऑफ हंगल और राइट इंडिया हैज बीन रैंक एट वन जीरो सेवन विद स्कोर ऑफ ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट वन इंडिया का स्कोर कितना है ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट वन है इंडिया हैज बीन कैटेगराइज इन सीरियस लेवल ऑफ हंगर एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू The bottom country is Yemen at 121 position, and the overall, the average global hunger score of the entire world is 18.2. मतलब पूरी जो दुनिया है उसमें का जो score है that is how much 18.2. All right. Which means which means that the entire world is going through the moderate level of hunger because the score is what 18.2. Right. Now what is the government of India stand? Government of India का क्या कहना है इसमें देखो government of India का सरासर ये कहना है कि हम इस index को खारिज करते हैं we do not accept this index but we do not see ourselves at 107 position out of 121 countries right? Why they have the government has given reason behind this number one the government has said that GHI global hunger index is an erroneous measure of hunger and suffers from serious methodological issues so the government has pointed out Some serious methodological issues, which are number one. पहला उन्होंने बताया है that three out of four indicators, which are stunting, wasting, and under five mortality. These three indicators are related to health of only children, right? These are related to the health of children, and it cannot represent the entire population. Of course, the government of India is absolutely right here. Okay, then. Then the government has said that the fourth indicator, which is estimating proportion of undernourished population, जो चौथा indicator है जिसमें undernourished population को हम के proportion को measure करते हैं, that is based on an opinion poll and that too was conducted on a very small sample size of three thousand. So in a country of one forty crores, around one forty crores, how can you determine the level of hunger with a sample size of just three thousand? It is not possible, right? and it is disconnected from the ground reality and deliberately ignores efforts which have been made by the government of india especially during the pandemic time when uh, from the year 2020 the government is providing free ration to more than 80 crore people so of course mai bhi is baat se bilkul kahin na kahin agree karta hu government ki ki yes 121 theek hai there are there is a uh, level of hunger in the country but not that serious ki hum 121 mein se 107 pe aa jaye This is not the issue because government की बहुत सारी schemes यहाँ पे काम कर रही हैं like प्रधान मंत्री गरीब कल्याण अन्न योजना in which government is providing five kg food items to the beneficiaries then we have प्रधान मंत्री मात्र वंदना योजना ठीक है जिसमें nutritious food की बात की जा रही है और right इसके अलावा there is आंगनवाड़ी services which are being provided through which the nutritious food are being provided to the maternal Uh, to the pregnant ladies, right? And then of course we have a midday meal scheme, जो कि कितनी landmark scheme है हमारे government की. So we can't say that हमारा जो position है 107 is not justified actually. This is my opinion. Your opinion could be different. अगर आपके कुछ और opinion है, तो write down in the comment section. Let's see कि क्या-क्या opinions आते. All right. So that is all about the index. And now let's come back to the question, guys. It is released by United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization. Is that so? No. It has been released by Concern Worldwide and uh, World Hunger Health. So this is incorrect. It measured the level of hunger of 121 countries. बिल्कुल सही बात है. Rankings are based on scores varying from 0 to 100, calculated using four parameters or indicators. This is absolutely correct. And India has been ranked at 107th place with a score of 20.5. See, India's ranking is 107, but score is not 25. 20.5, it is 29.1. Okay. So two and three should be the correct answer option B because we have to identify the correct statement. All right, I hope guys this question is clear. Moving ahead to question number two, which is again a very important question. It talks about ADIP scheme of the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Now most of you will say that we have covered this scheme a lot of times. Then why are you covering it? I am covering it for those people who are who have not covered this scheme with me. Simple, okay. क्योंकि देखो आप में से कई लोग ऐसे होंगे जो 
आज हो सकता है आज पहली बार देख रहे हो या कुछ ऐसे होंगे जिन्होंने एक हफ्ते पहले से देखना शुरू किया हो तो फॉर दीज पीपल क्योंकि ये नबार्ड क्रेडे के लिए काफी इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम है जो फेस टू आ रहा है ओके सो दैट इज वाई आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू टेक दिस दिस स्कीम बट द क्वेश्चन इज वाई आई हैव टेकन दिस स्कीम देर देर इट मस्ट बी न्यूज राइट सो इट इज इन न्यूज बिकॉज देर इज वन शिविर सामाजिक अधिकारिता शिविर वॉज रिसेंटली हेल्ड इन अलवर सिटी ऑफ राजस्थान एंड देर हैव बीन सो मेनी सामाजिक अधिकारिता शिविर कंडक्टेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट Now the objective of these shiver of these campaigns is the distribution of aids and assistive devices to the divyanjans or the people with person with disabilities. Right during these in these campaign in these uh, uh, you know campaigns, the assistive devices, the aids and assistive devices are being provided to the person with disabilities under ADIP scheme. Okay. These samajik adhikarita shiver are being conducted across the country under ADIP scheme. What is ADIP scheme? By the way, it is assistance to uh, disabled people for purchase of aids and appliances. Okay, let me repeat this: assistance to disabled persons for purchase of aids and appliances. Okay, now aids and appliances like car key machine, uh, jo wo uh, wheelchair, is tari ke ke aids and assistive devices are being provided. Right now, these services are being organized by Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities. in association with elimco what is elimco artificial limbs manufacturing corporation of india limited artificial limbs manufacturing corporation of india limited is elimco which manufactures the assistive devices which are being provided to the beneficiaries under this scheme theek hai ji it is a psp under the ministry of social justice and empowerment do remember this all right Now let's talk about the ADIP scheme. So the objective of this scheme is to provide durable, modern, and scientifically manufactured aids and assistive devices to the person with disabilities to promote their physical, social, and psychological rehabilitation. ये आपको अभी तक of course clear हो गया होगा. And you don't have to learn the objectives because objectives can be easily determined from the name of the scheme only. <coughs> What is the name of the scheme? <coughs> Sorry. Assistance to disabled person for purchase of aids and appliances. Of course, we are providing aids and appliances to the disabled person. That is the objective. It was launched way back in the year 1981, but it was revised recently in the year 2022. And this is the reason this scheme is important. Eligibility? क्या है? Now, which person, uh, which kind of person with disabilities will get the assistance? So, number one. the person should be an indian of course then there must be a 40% disability in the person with disability theek hai 40% se kam hoga then in that case the person will not be eligible income from all the sources should not exceed rupees 30000 per month and in the case of a minor the income of parents or guardian should not exceed rupees 30000 per month and the person should not have received any assistance during the last 3 years For the same purpose from any other source, like from any uh, state government, से किसी तरीके से या central government की ही किसी और scheme से same type के assistance न ली गई हो, right? In the in the case of children, this three year reduced down to one year, all right? Now, what is the quantum of assistance for any aids or appliances which is costing up up to rupees fifteen thousand? Hundred percent assistance is provided by the government, but if the aid or the appliances Cost between fifteen thousand one and rupees thirty thousand. Then also assistance is provided up to rupees fifteen thousand. Okay, if it is more than thirty thousand, then central government provides fifty percent of the cost. That is again fifty thousand, and the rest is provided by the state government or any NGO. So in short, the central government will provide up to a maximum of rupees fifteen thousand only, and above than that. Uh, will be provided by the state government or the ngo all right administrative expenses ke liye 1% of the budget under the scheme can be used for the administrative expenses so that is all about the scheme guys i hope the scheme is clear and now let's come back to the question the scheme was launched in 1981 bilkul sahi baat hai for aids or appliances costing up to rupees 15000 full assistance is provided by the government correct 3% of the budget under the scheme may be used for providing information education and communication regarding the scheme 
दैट इज नॉट थ्री परसेंट दैट वन परसेंट ठीक है ना तो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट विच मीन्स ऑप्शन डी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर ओनली थ्री ठीक है भाई आगे चलते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री पे एंड देर आर सेवन क्वेश्चन टूडे एंड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द क्वेश्चन आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग इंटरपोल एंड यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बट द थिंग इज वाई वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटरपोल हम इसकी बात क्यों करने लगे अचानक से अचानक से नहीं करने लग गए वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटरपोल बिकॉज प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हैज एड्रेस्ड द नाइनटी एथ इंटरपोल जनरल असेंबली विच टूक प्लेस दिस टाइम इन इंडिया इन न्यू डेली एंड दैट इज वाई इंटरपोल इज इंपॉर्टेंट राइट एंड इट टूक प्लेस आफ्टर ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स लास्ट टाइम द इंटरपोल जनरल असेंबली मीटिंग टूक प्लेस इन इंडिया इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी सेवन एंड आफ्टर ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स दिस टाइम इट इज बींग कंडक्टेड इन इंडिया ठीक है एंड वेयर इन इंडिया इन न्यू डेली और राइट एंड दैट इज वाई लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इंटरपोल बिकॉज वी ऑल नो क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इंटरनेशनल एंड रीजनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर आस्ट इन दी नबार्ड ग्रेड ए एंड आर वे ग्रेड बी एग्जामिनेशन सो इट इज एन इंटर गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच फेसिलिटेट वर्ल्ड वाइड पुलिस कोऑर्डिनेशन और राइट इट वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन दर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री राइट एज इंटरनेशनल क्रिमिनल पुलिस कमीशन एंड देर आफ्टर लेटर इन दर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स इट वॉज रीनेम्ड एज इंटरपोल इट इज हेडक्वार्टर इन लियो it is headquartered in leo which is in france right and total there are 195 member countries in it and the current president as on uh, what is the date today i forgot the date today sorry as on today ahmed nasir al raizi is the president of uh, uh, this uh, interpol right and general assembly is the supreme governing body of interpol and it meets once in a year saal mein kitni baar milte ek baar milte ठीक है दैट इज ऑल एंड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन सो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स और आई इट इज एन इंटर गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फैसिलिटेटिंग वर्ल्ड वाइड पुलिस कोऑपरेशन एंड क्राइम कंट्रोल ठीक बात है जनरल असेंबली इज इट सुप्रीम गवर्निंग बॉडी करेक्ट इट इज हेडक्वार्टर इन लंडन यूके नो लेओ फ्रांस एंड वन नाइनटी कंट्रीज आर इट्स मेंबर्स ठीक है वन टू एंड थ्री वन टू एंड फोर ऑप्शन सी शुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर All right. I hope, guys, this interpol is clear. And now let's move ahead to question number four. Consider the following statements with respect to PM Kisan Samman Sammelan, and you have to identify the correct statement. Very, very important event. And during this event, various launches happened, and it was launched. It was inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi. Okay. and this sammelan was organized to connect farmers with the uh, other stakeholders like farmers with startups final farmers with innovators farmers with business enterprises theek hai to farmers ko puri economy ke sath connect karne ke liye this samman sammelan was organized right and during this event various uh, uh, various other events and various other launches have been done like for example there was an agri startup conclave and exhibition this was organized to connect farmers with the startups of the country and thereby uh, discussing how we can use the technological innovations in modernization of agricultural techniques all right that is all isse zyada isme kuch nahi tha ek bar aap read out kar lena isko then pradhan mantri kisan samruddhi kendras have been launched this is important So these are the kendras. How many samruddhi kendras launched? Six hundred samruddhi kendras were launched, and the objective of these kendras is to convert more than three point three lakh retail fertilizer shops into kisan samruddhi kendras. So basically, what will happen? The the retail shops of fertilizers will be converted into Pradhan Mantri samruddhi kendras. So, ऐसा क्यों करेंगे? क्या होगा इससे? ऐसा करने से? ऐसा करने से ये होगा that these facilities. will be provided at these samruddhi kendras which are currently not uh, being provided at these retail fertilizer shops all right what are these facilities agri inputs will be provided to the farmers fertilizer seeds implements testing facilities for soil seeds fertilizers awareness among farmers provide information regarding various government schemes ensure regular capacity building of retailers at block or the district level outlets and in the pilot phase it is targeted it has been targeted that at least one retail fertilizer shop will be established in each district 
हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में एक प्रधानमंत्री किसान समृद्धि केंद्र विल बी एस्टैब्लिश सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट किसान समृद्धि केंद्र एंड देन भारत यूरिया बैग्स हैव बीन लॉन्च ठीक है भारत यूरिया बैग्स हैव बीन लॉन्च द प्रधानमंत्री भारतीय जन उर्वरक परियोजना विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वन नेशन वन फर्टिलाइजर स्कीम ठीक है वन नेशन वन फर्टिलाइजर स्कीम प्रधानमंत्री भारतीय जन उर्वरक परियोजना अंडर दिस द गवर्नमेंट इज डेवलपिंग भारत ब्रांड भारत ब्रांड फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड ऑल द केमिकल्स लाइक यूरिया फर्टिलाइजर विल बी सोल्ड बाई द नेम बाई द ब्रांड नेम ऑफ भारत All right, and this Bharat Urea bags will help companies market fertilizers using the under the single brand which is named as Bharat, as I told you. And the objective of One Nation One Fertilizers, that is, Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Janu Urvarak Pariyojana, is to standardize the fertilizer brands across the country, irrespective of the company which is manufacturing it. मतलब all the fertilizers will be distributed, will be sold under a single brand name, that is. Bharat, and that is why we are calling it as One Nation One Fertilizer. All right. Bharat uh, brand Bharat Tag. Okay, it is mandatory for fertilizer company to market their goods under the brand name Bharat. For example, Bharat Urea, Bharat DAP, Bharat MOP, Bharat NPK, etc. The ministry which is implementing this scheme is Ministry of, of course, Chemical and Fertilizers, which is headed by Mansukh Mandavia. and it will help to reduce criss cross movement of fertilizers leading, uh, leading to reduction of feed subsidy theek hai na so that is about uh, pradhan mantri jan urvarak pariyojana now then one magazine was launched which is named as indian edge and it is an e magazine on fertilizer and it will provide information on domestic and international fertilizer scenarios across the world theek hai na naam yaad rakhna indian edge theek hai so now let's come back to the question during the event 600 pradhan mantri kisan samruddhi kendras have been launched this is absolutely correct there is no problem bharat urea bags have been launched under pradhan mantri bharatiya jan urvarak pariyojana to help companies market fertilizers theek hai ye bhi sahi hai no problem with it an international weekly e magazine world farmer so the name of the magazine is world farmer no it's Indian Edge. So the third statement is incorrect, and therefore the correct answer is option A, only one and two, because we have to identify the correct statement. Let's talk about question number five then. Anubhav portal was launched by Department of Pension and Pensioners Welfare to provide a platform to retiring government employees to share their experiences while working in different ministries or departments. When was the portal launched? So it was launched in 2015. Let me tell you the answer first. But the question is, when it was launched in 2015, then why we are discussing it today? We are discussing it today because Anubhav awards have been given by the Department of Pension and Pensioners Welfare, and that is why we are talking about Anubhav portal. And these awards have been given to fel felicitate the awardee of the of uh, awardee of their write-ups. Submitted on Anubhav portal for the year 2020, 21, and 2022. Now you must be wondering, what is this write-up? What is this write-up? Okay, so let's talk about it. Don't worry. See, Anubhav portal was launched with an objective to provide a platform to the retired government employees to share their experiences and how they will share their experiences by writing on their own on the Anubhav portal, and that is the meaning of write-up there. Okay. it was launched in 2015 by department of pension and pensioners welfare 92 ministries and departments and organizations have registered on anubhav portal and the award constitutes a medal a certificate and a cash prize of rupees 10000 all right <clears throat> and as i already told you the correct answer to this question is option c 2015 moving ahead to question number 6 मुख्यमंत्री अमृतम स्कीम वॉज लॉन्च इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व टू प्रोटेक्ट पुअर सिटीजन फ्रॉम दैटस्ट्रॉफिक कॉस्ट ऑफ मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट एंड इनलेस इट वॉज इंटीग्रेटेड विद सेंटर आयुष्मान भारत प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन इट इज अल्थ इंश्योरेंस स्कीम ऑफ विच ऑफ दॉलोइंग स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कौन से स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का ये हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस है उसकी बात करनी है हमें सो दिस इज अ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट स्कीम बट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इट बिकॉज The Prime Minister Modi has launched 
आयुष्मान कार्ड ऑफ दिस स्कीम एंड ऑफकोर्स अभी गुजरात में इलेक्शन आने वाले हैं इसलिए गुजरात और हिमाचल प्रदेश से काफी न्यूज हो सकती है बट ऑल द न्यूज आर नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट बट ये certain news and certain schemes are important of the state governments now this is important because this uh, mukhya mantri amrutam scheme of the gujarat government has been integrated now with the aishman bharat and that is why it becomes important all right so it is in news because pradhan mantri modi has distributed pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana uh, mukhya mantri amrutam uh, yojana aishman cards in gujarat right now let's talk about this scheme uh, this scheme this mass stands for mukhya mantri amrutam right so the objective is very clear to protect poor citizens from the unaffordable cost of uh, medical treatment and illnesses gujarat government ka hai ye maine aapko pehle bata diya and it pays for the entire cycle of a medical contingency from diagnostic test to post hospitalization care as well so it is even bigger scheme than the ayushman bharat yojana because in ayushman bharat yojana post hospitalization care is not provided okay now talking more about this scheme it was launched in 2012 aur us time chief minister hamare modi ji hi the to unhone modi ji ne hi launch kiya tha isko initially it was launched only to cater to people who are living below poverty line but later on in 2014 it was extended to the lower middle income uh, families which have annual income of up to rupees 4 lakh all right and then it was rebranded as mukhya mantri amrutam vatsalya yojana theek hai and in the year 2019 it was integrated with pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana and now it is being implemented as pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana mukhya mantri amrutam scheme all right so i hope this is clear and now let's come back to the question the correct answer is obviously option b gujarat all right moving ahead to the last question for today question number 7 very very important again recently a single integrated pensioner portal which is named as i pension was launched to enable pensioners to get all information and services at one place with single login it has been developed by ministry of personnel public grievances and pensions in collaboration with which of the following banks kaun se bank ke sath milke inhone ye launch kiya hai theek hai ji so let's talk about this ministry of personnel public grievances and pension has launched this portal i pension the objective behind launching this portal is to enable pensioners to get all the relevant information all the relevant information and services at one place with single login all right it has been developed by this ministry and this bank which is the state bank of india moving ahead what facilities the pensioners will get here so they can choose a bank and branch for opening an online pension account they can check their monthly pension slips form 16 etc and they can also change their pension disbursing bank and now remember this portal has been linked to bhavishya and cp grants what is cp grants centralized pension grievances redressal and monitoring system and what is bhavishya it is a pension payment and tracking system right now this portal i pension has been linked with uh, these two bhavishya and cp grants all right so that is all about this portal and therefore the correct answer is option b state bank of india and that's it for today's session guys i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless